everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun laser project video, we're going to be giving new life to old cigar boxes with the laser engraver. When I took my mom to the beach for her birthday back in January, I went walking at Broadway at the beach and went into the Tender Box store and picked up three beautiful wooden cigar boxes for three bucks a piece. The man there was very informative and he said any style box I wanted would be three bucks a piece and he had a whole assortment to choose from. I chose three different sizes so for nine dollars I got three beautiful wooden boxes to play around with and you cannot make a wooden box for that with all the stuff in it and this box we're going to be using here has some nice finger joints in it so always a nice decorative touch. The first one I did not know how the laser would react to the wood so I sanded it completely down to bare wood and laser engraved a nice train in it there. The second box which was bigger I've done the same train design on it but then after um, all the lasering was done I sanded it and tried to match that to everything and it came out real cool. These would make great gifts for people. Again they're not that expensive. Three bucks a piece. You can't build the box for that and then you can put any design you want as long as you got a powerful enough laser. I have the longer Ray 5 laser engraver here that Longer kindly sent me but you could make a bunch of anniversary gifts, birthday gifts, put people's favorite logos or company logos or quotes, scripture, anything you want on it and it would make a nice keepsake box especially around anniversary time putting like the dates and everything on it or a love quote or something and then have the jewelry or whatever in a nice wooden box instead of just a little cardboard box. What we've got to do now is move the camera over to the sanding area and sand this completely smooth so we can take it over to the laser and start engraving. Got a nice pirate Jolly Roger I'm going to put on this one for me to put my jewelry in. So let me get my dust mask on, move the camera and we'll get started. And we're going to begin by sanding the factory logo off of the box. And I use various sanders to get this accomplished. But once I'm comfortable with it, I will take some masking tape and get some of the finer dust particles off and go to the laser. And this is the longer Ray 5 laser engraver. And I'm zeroing it out here and tightening the laser apparatus in place. Getting the measurements for the box and consulting my metric guide. Turning on my vent fan and exhaust fan and I put on the safety glasses to protect my eyes and once I'm happy with how it is framed in we will begin the laser engraving process. I'm still learning how to fine tune the laser for these cigar boxes so there was a little bit of charring and before anyone asks no I do not smoke. It's just going through here and obviously it's sped up but it took around an hour and 15 minutes for it to carve the Jolly Roger skull and crossbone into the cigar box lid and you could actually skip the sanding process if you had access to some thin veneer and just laminate it to the top of a cigar box and then engrave that you wouldn't even have to bother with the sanding I'm really loving this laser engraver by Longer and I'm enjoying unlocking all the possibilities on what this machine has to offer and you can see there in the front of the laser there's a little USB powered fan and then behind the laser on the wall is an exhaust vent I have the fan blowing all the fumes toward the exhaust vent and it sucks everything out of the workshop and I also have the air filter running above the shop keeping the air nice and clean. You can see the Jolly Roger there taking shape. It's a pirate's life for me. If you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, this is only the third ever cigar box I've attempted to laser engrave. So once again, going back to the settings, I'm really just playing with different settings and writing them down to see which setting works best.
coming up on the end here it's doing the tip of the sword and once all the laser engraving is done I will jog the laser engraver head back and pick up the cigar box and we will take it and do some touch-up sanding to remove the charring and I'll take masking tape again and mask off the natural color of the box and I tried to match it as best I could with Minwax wood stain and I really love the rustic vibe this box has but after the stain was dry I gave it several coats of clear gloss clear coat for protection and let that dry and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Jolly Roger Cigar Box and it came out amazing. It took around 35 minutes for the longer Ray 5 laser engraver to completely engrave the skull and the cross swords there. There was some charring in it. I'm going to be upfront about that as you've seen in the video around the skull and the swords. So I took it back over to the palm sander with 220 grit sandpaper and give it just a light sanding and it cleaned all that charring up. As you can see everything came out nice and crisp and then the clear coat and stain really makes everything pop and gives it just a beautiful beautiful look it's got that gangplank style like the side of a pirate ship and this has just been branded in it really really awesome for me I really love that and I now have a spot to put all my jewelry and loose change but really really cool I had fun making this I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and as always, links to my social medias will always be down in the description box below. I'm also going to add a link to the Tender Boxes and Myrtle Beaches Instagram page down in the description box as well. That is where I got the three cigar boxes you've seen in this video. They sell all theirs for $3 a piece if you want to pick some up and try some different things out. You could also even laser cut stuff and just glue it directly to the top of the box. But really, really cool and a lot of possibilities for weddings, anniversaries, birth dates, special occasions. You could put quotes, scriptures, company logos, whatever you want to give as a gift and it makes a beautiful keepsake and it is upcycling but really really amazing. Again I had fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it. It's a pirate's life for me mates. That's about all for this one. Remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.